All right, uh, Shalom on my count. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakhah Kodash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Mills on the Rue Well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing truth to sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Lord Yah from the Great Millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana Camp, coming back again with another brief lesson. And as always, you know, Lord, will it be edifying to the elect? And uh, through the Spirit, you know, just want to go into um, Ephesians, the third chapter, and I'll start uh, at the top, you know, and uh, hey, Lord willing, you know, it'll be edifying. Just want to touch uh, upon this uh, uh, this chapter, you know, ultimately just, just going into um, everything that we're doing is for uh, uh, the elect's sake. All right, everything that we're doing is for the elect's sake. So ultimately, we must remain uh, uh, humble in the eyes of Yahweh by Shimei al -Shah, you know, because uh, that's ultimately who's going to receive all the glory, you know, when everything is all said and done. All right. So this is uh, Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, for you Gentiles, all right, which were the Israelite uh, uh, that was scattered abroad. All right, real quick. Real quick. This is... um. Let me see, uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 10, all right, because he said, I'm a prisoner. You know, we're ultimately bounded by what the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, man. You know, walking after that great wisdom. That's what's going to keep us governed in an upright manner, uh, uh, which Yahweh Bashim Al Shah had created from the foundations of the earth. All right, so this is 2 Timothy 2 and 10. It says, Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain salvation, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah with eternal glory so that's why we were ultimately made those uh prisoners you know even uh, apostle paul you know he was made a prisoner and he was bounded to walk after the ways of the lord so that what uh the the uh, uh the flock of y'all by shimia was uh gonna be able to receive uh the word of the lord all right it says if ye have uh, verse 2 back in ephesians the third chapter if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of the most high which is given me to you would how that by re revelation he made it, he made known unto me the mystery. You see, he made known. And uh, we go to Amos 3 and 7, man. The Lord had revealed the secrets to the servants, the prophets. You know, and the same things happening today. All right, why? Because once Yahweh Shah was crucified, his spirit was uh, 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 dispersed, you know, uh, unto the elect. Okay, that was uh, what scattered abroad. It says, as I write afore in, in few words. Whereby, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Hamashiach, you know, if you're able to well receive it, you know, because anybody can just read, you know, but if you don't uh, uh, go where precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, you know, and uh, really, you know, to further that point, we go to John the 17th chapter, these things have to be given, you know, uh, uh, from Yahweh Shah to you, all right? By way of uh, 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 what you receiving it from the prophets, real quick. This is John chapter seventeen. All right, and uh, for, I'll start at verse six. It says, "I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world." You see, because we were called out of that world, man. All right, uh, uh, amongst uh, uh, the whole nation of Israel. All right, it says, "Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee." For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. You see? They have received them, likewise today. All right? Once the Lord quickened our spirits, you know, we were able to get fruit through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, you know, whether uh, uh, they were in your city or not. You know, because uh, one thing you always have to keep in mind, man, you don't know who's watching these videos. You know? It says, and have sh uh, known surely that I came out from thee, and they, ha and they have believed that thou didst send me. All right, then it goes into what I pray for them. Only uh, what the elect, those that's actually going to receive uh, the words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah and repent, you know, and uh, uh, what be converted and transformed by the renewing of the mind. Okay, so real quick back in Ephesians. And this is, uh, is you know, really a beautiful chapter, man. You know, going to show you uh, how we're uh, really supposed to conduct ourselves because uh, uh, everybody looked upon uh, Apostle Paul's statue. You know, he once were, uh, uh, was threatened and, and, you know, went, went up against the prophets. But by way of Yahweh, by Shimei al -Shai, you know, uh, uh, choosing him, calling him, you know, to do this great deed, you know, uh, uh, what? He, he was basically found without uh, uh, blame, you know? Also, that word prophecy and, and ultimately the word of the Lord st stood. Okay, uh, verse four, it says, whereby when you read, 
ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Hamashiach, which in other ages was not known, you see, unto the sons of men. In other, uh, uh, the, uh, let me get that real quick. And to other ages, it, it had been hid, man, because it was a period of time where all of this wisdom, not to understand it, was hid, man. All right, but what now in the latter times, which where we're in now, you know, getting closer and closer to that finish line, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha had it to where what knowledge is ultimately increasing, man, in these uh, 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 last days. Okay, uh, real quick, this is um. Right, being that it had been hidden, this is Colossians chapter one and uh verse twenty. I started verse twenty-five. You know what? I started verse twenty-four. It says, "Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Hamashiach in my flesh, for his body's sake." You see, which is the church. Wherefore I have made a minister according to the dispensation, the dispersion, all right, of the Most High, which. You know, uh, we will receive of those different talents. It says, which is given me for you. So everything that the Lord really gives us is for his elect. You know, because the Lord found us words that will ultimately be obtain us of that and pass it down. All right. It says uh, uh, to fulfill the word of the Most High. So that what prophecy can come to pass. That what the Lord was going to wake up his service in the last uh, 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 times. Okay. That we're going to uh, ultimately uh, repent. Go out on the highways and hedges. All right. Uh, Cause it tells you in the book of Matthew that what this truth is gonna be preached throughout the four winds, and then shall the end come. All right, verse twenty six it says, even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. All right, and who are the Lord's saints? All right, let's get there real quick in the book of Psalms. All right. All right, this is this is Psalms 148 and verse 13. It says he also exalted, exalt, exalted, meaning lift up. All right, the horn of his people, which was Yahweh Shai. It says the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near to him, praise ye the Most High Yahweh. You see, so the saints are ultimately going to be out of uh, the elect of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. All right, it, uh, verse 27. It says. To whom the Most High would make known what is riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, the Israelites scatters abroad. It says, which is Hamashiach and you, the hope of glory. And we understand what Yahweh Shai is, our hope. All right. That's why uh, it's going to be a small remnant, you know, that's going to be enabled to receive this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right. The, uh, 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 understand the high holy days, man, and ultimately, you know, get everything back within their harmonious balance. Okay. Verse uh, verse five it says, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. You see, so it has to be of, of the Spirit, all right? Because, uh, let me see, real quick. <laughs> if this was of man, you know, it would come to naught. All right. This is this is a uh, First Corinthians chapter two, and uh, I start at uh, verse four. It says in my speech, Apostle Paul once again. It says in my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. You see, and that 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 demonstration of Spirit and power ultimately was made known when they saw. You know how. You know, he was uh, slaying the prophets, you know, that goes to show the power of the Lord, just like today in today's time, you know, when it goes into uh, what uh, wisdom of Solomon, wisdom of Solomon, the fourth chapter, you know, when it tells you uh, in the sight of the unwise, it seemed, uh, you know, it seemed like we died, you know, just uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, that goes to show that power because we're ultimately new creatures before the faces of these people. All right. It says, uh, verse five, it says that your fate should not stand in wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. You see? So going on with this lesson, yeah, we're, we're subject to being real humble, you know, but ultimately we're standing boldly in the confidence of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah. 
you know and that's ultimately what this wisdom uh, makes us and uh, uh, restores us to uh, have man that great confidence we have that what faith all right faith that can't be shot down it tells you that what we're subject to having that unfeigned faith man unmovable scripture say be ye unmovable man rooted deeply all right verse six yeah verse six it says how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that come to know it but we speak the wisdom of the most high in a mystery because what it wasn't given to everyone okay it says even the hidden with uh wisdom which the most high ordained before the world unto our glory you see because the lord knew by way of what having his word uh, uh established throughout the earth all right, we we're gonna go into slavery. We we're gonna go into the hand of all of, uh, of haters, uh, of those that hate us, you know. But in the end, guess what? Uh, 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 Jacob's uh, hand was gonna be on Esau's uh, heel, and ultimately, you know, through through uh, the same wisdom, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding which we go out on the highways and hedges and uh, proclaim, you know, we're gonna be pulling down the strongholds of this place, you know. Back in Ephesians chapter three. It says, uh, verse six, it says that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs going into what? Uh, 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 that's the Israelite foreigners. All right. And uh, uh, real quick, let's get that in a book of Romans. All right. Joint heirs. If we're joint heirs, that means we must be partakers of the sufferers. Now you have these are the heathens. And this is a, a clean uh, cut to show you that these heathens are not partakers of Yahweh Bashim al glory. All right. First, you know, we can easily go to Romans nine because the Lord only died for his brother and his kinsmen, according to the flesh who are Israelites. All right. This is Romans chapter eight and uh, verse 17. It says, and the children then heirs, meaning joined together. It says heirs of Yahweh Bashim al and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. All right. And these other nations are, are suffering uh, uh, with the Lord because they've received their consolation. All right. Ultimately, they're all they're still over us to this day, you know, for the simple fact that we're, we're uh, here in our captivity still, man. All right. So that's a, 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 a easy, you know, cut showing you who, who those Gentiles were, were going to be. All right. Wasn't talking about the heathen, the heathenistic nations. Uh, continue on Ephesians 3 and 6 it says and of the same body and partakers of his look whew, and the partakers of his promise in Hamashiach by the gospel you don't see Ammon Moab you know uh, 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 Ishmael and them on the highways and hedges man all right bringing it out you see it says wherefore I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of the most high given unto me by the effectual working of his power you see because the gift all right let me get there real quick the the, the gifts of yahweh by shimei Shai, as it speaks about it uh, this is romans 11 and uh verse 29 it says for the gifts and calling of yahweh by shimei Shai are without repentance so ultimately what the lord wants is going to stand all right the lord isn't going to change you know who he wants to rule the lord isn't going to uh, uh change or uh, who received those birthrights and who uh receive the covenants all right who's gonna receive the new covenant you know the lord isn't uh, uh unjust power man all right he gave uh, uh esau edom their time to rule he gave these other heathens to have us in uh, uh in their hands you know and now we're at the end of this thing and uh that great re that role is soon gonna be reversed all right like we like to say those tables are, are turning man you know whether you can see it or not okay this is ephesians chapter three let me see what uh verse 8 it says unto me who am less than the least of all saints you see showing you how humble he was it says is this grace given that i should preach among the gentiles the unsearchable riches of hamashiach and that let you know that apostle paul knew that you know it had to be of your house by shot to receive this wisdom knowledge and understanding you know you just couldn't do it he had to call you the lord had to personally put his hands you know upon you and make you turn unto him all right it says and to make all men see wow <laughs> and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in the most high who created all things by yahweh shah Mashiach, to the intent that now until the principalities and powers in heaven places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of the most high according to the eternal purpose 
which he purposed in Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord. So uh, everything that's happened is really uh, according to what the Heavenly Father uh, uh, orchestrated, man. All right. Verse 12, it says, in whom we have boldness. You know, and ultimately this is uh, the point of this whole chapter. You know, I just wanted to go into this, uh, you know, through the spirit of, you know, us being humble, but having that boldness in the Lord. You know, and this was, you know, one of the perfect chapters to really touch upon that point. It says, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence. You see, having that great faith by faith of him. You see? So we can only uh, be enabled or unlock these things by way of what Yahweh Shah. You see? It says, Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. All right? Don't faint at the uh, uh, Apostle Paul's tribulations because ultimately, you know, he was showing us everything that he got through once he passed it down. We we're going to be partakers of those same afflictions. All right? It says, For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father, our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Because what? Israel is the Lord's portion. All right? That'll never change. Real quick, this is uh, 2nd Edges chapter 6. And uh, let me get the point real quick. Let me see. Okay, verse 58. It says, But we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn. Speaking of what? Israel. It says, Thy only begotten, thy fervent lover. Are given into their hands If the world now be made for our sakes Why do we not possess an inheritance With the world How long shall this endure All right. And now we don't even have to ask that question Because we see this place crumbling You know Apostle Paul knew that what salvation wasn't going to be granted in that time That's why uh, when you go to 2 Thessalonians Alright uh, Is it uh, It's 1 Thessalonians Salakia. This is 1 Thessalonians 2 Alright in verse 19 it says For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing or not even ye in the presence of our lord yahweh shah mashiach at his coming you see he was talking to the prophets he, and, and ultimately did the, the apostles like like letting them know you know it, it says uh for ye or our glory and joy all right because what uh in the land of you know this next captivity you know we're gonna be you know uh under esau edom all right here in america he knew that you know we we're gonna uh, uh be woken up man all right. That's why I said when uh, ultimately when you receive it, hey, wake me up, you know, wake your brothers up, you know, strengthen the flock, strengthen the feeble. All right. And by us doing that through the spirit part, y'all, by Shemel Shad, the elect shall be redeemed up out of this place, you know. And it really goes to uh, touch upon the mindset of Apostle Paul, knowing that what everything that we go through is really for the body, man. All right. This thing is not about us. OK. Uh. uh Verse 16, back in Ephesians, the third chapter says that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. You see, Lord got to uh, grant that unto us. It says to be strengthened with the might by his spirit in the inner man. All right. So it's all about that inner man. All right. Let me get that real quick. This is Ephesians chapter four. All right. And uh, verse 21, it says, if so be that ye have heard him. And have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You see? By what? The washing of the word when you uh, uh, further on going to the fifth chapter. Okay? Verse 24 says that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in the righteousness and true holiness. You see? So ultimately, we must be transformed and converted before even, you know, really uh, fully uh, uh, laying uh, uh, your hands upon this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, to make sure that you're not going to uh, do wrongfully with it, you know, because the Lord, uh, man, you can get killed for that, all right, using this truth for vain glory, you know, so forth and so on. Verse 17, it says that Hamashiach may dwell in your hearts or in your mind by faith, you see, by faith. Let's get that in uh, Hebrews, the 11th chapter. You know, and that's why we must constantly meditate upon Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, you know, because that shows where our mind is at, and ultimately we understand that the Lord is the only one that could del deliver us from this situation. All right, this is Hebrews 11 and verse 7, uh, Salaki 6. It says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You see. 
And you can't seek the Lord if you're proud, man, because you're going to think that everything that you do is the reason why you're in, in, in that specific situation. All right. Which ultimately is not the cause. OK, it says that Hamashiach may dwell in your mind by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love, man, being rooted. You must be rooted. OK, deeply put up in that song and going upon what that rock, man. All right. Unmovable. It says, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height and to know the love of Hamashiach, which passes knowledge. You see, which passes knowledge. All right. Because if you love the Lord, we're subject to what? Feeding the sheep. All right. And it says, the Lord tells you that well, uh, my sheep hear me. All right. And they follow me. It says that ye might be filled with all fullness of the Most High. Let's get that in 1 Corinthians, the uh, first chapter. All right. Because uh, uh, if the Lord has us been with all uh, fullness that means we're fully uh furnished man all right like a uh, a house so to say all right you get a fully furnished house you have all compartments therefore you have no need no want all right this is first corinthians chapter four and verse five it says that in everything you know what i'm gonna start at verse four it says i think the most high always on your behalf for the grace of the most high which is given you by yahweh shahamashiach so we couldn't be able to receive that grace without Yahweh Shai coming to die for us. All right. It says that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in knowledge. You see, by all utterance, it says even as whew, even as the testimony of Hamashiach was confirmed in you. All right. How was the uh, the testimony confirmed in us? Let's get it. Uh, Acts. This is the book of Acts chapter 14. All right. Confirmed in you. And another way that it was confirmed in us is because you see us bringing this truth out, man. All right. You you can't stop the men of the Lord. All right. This X chapter 14 and verse 22 it says confirming the souls of disciples and exhorted them to continue in the faith. Now, why do you have to continue uh, to exhort the men of the Lord to, to, to keep going in the faith, man? Because we're catching all kinds of hell. And sometimes, you know, which the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear, neither doubt, man. All right. But of what? A uh, sound mind. All right. So by the Lord giving us that sound mind, that allows us to keep going. But ultimately, you know, you're going to be dealing uh, 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 with all kinds of hell. And sometimes, man, you're going to have your, hang, your head hanging low, you know. But that's why the Lord gave us what brothers to exhort each other, man. All right. And constantly push off with, with this uh, good gospel, man. It's good news that we all have uh, uh, forward to look with all that we all have uh, to look forward to, man. All right. It says and that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high all right as it speaks about the second edge of the seventh chapter you see so it's going to be hell but we must keep that focus because hey we're not hey it's not going to be easy just getting this kingdom man all right we're going to have to catch all types of hell you know which we see that you know it's almost over man you know uh verse 20 ephesians 3 and 20 it says now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundant above all that we ask or think according to the power that work it in us because it's of the lord you know it's of the lord that that we're uploading these videos it's of, of the lord that we're really still here in, in these weak ass bodies man you know having Eden come spray chemtrails okay put all kind of things in your food you know the scripture tell you that what uh in atlanta of our captivity we're gonna eat the foul bread you know we gotta eat the you know the best of the worst around this motherfucker you know it says according to the power that worketh in us so it's really of your and that's why the lord gets the glory man because it's not nothing that we're doing you know it's the lord that's really you know working within us all right verse 21 it says unto him be the glory in the church by hamashiach yahweh throughout all ages world without end you see because israel is always hey man israel is always going to be established all right this go around you're going to have the elect be risen up all right have their spirits quickened and ultimately uh by way of yahweh putting that spirit upon them you know when the lord makes their return we're gonna establish and furthermore push our righteousness throughout the earth you know so with that you know lord willingness you know lesson was edifying when i give all praises on and glory unto yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem rakakodash double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone of the will and my peace safety and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds pushing the truth and sincerity and diligence till next time shalom